welcome to the Flax language training video series. In this first video, I'm going to take you through the learning collocations collection. We're going to look at searching for collocations, as well as understanding what collocations are, linking to other resources within the collection, and comparing across different corpora or text collections. Okay, let's take a look inside. When you're looking for Flax online, it's important to type in Flax language. And this will take you to the Flax language website. Here we are at the home page. And you'll notice in Flax that everything has been arranged according to libraries and library collections. We have resource co uh, distributed collections, resource collections, academic written English collections, and those collections created by registered users. So in this tutorial, I'm going to take you to the Learning Collocations collection. So what is a collocation? Well, collocations are words that go together. It's how native speakers put words together in their speaking and in their writing. The default corpus in this collection is the BNC, or the British National Corpus. This is a reference corpus made up of 100 million words from spoken and written English. We've also got the BOR, the British Written Academic English Corpus, and this is a student-generated corpus from university writing. And finally, we've got the Wikipedia Human Crowdsourced Corpus, made up of 200 million texts. Okay, let's take a look. Um, what you do is you just type in a word or words into the search window. And you'll notice um, immediately that you get the word family come up in relation to that word. So we've got learners, learner, learning. And then this takes you to collocations within the database. And what you do is you essentially drill down deeper every time to get words in context. So learners of English. Uh, you can see according to frequency how many times they occur. 21 times in this corpus, and then you see the words in context. So it gives you a full idea of how to use these collocations. Okay, also ordered according to part of speech. So we've got verbs at the top, learning to, learning to cope with, learning to cope with new technology. And then we've got um, learning as a noun, so learning difficulties, occurs 348 times in the corpus. Learning curve, okay, so a very steep learning curve. Steep and learning curve tend to collocate often. Efficient learning curve, shallow learning curve. Okay, once again, um, severe learning difficulties. So this is Adjective plus noun phrase. And you get the idea. You can just click through and get more and more examples. We've also got um, a synonym tool that's been added from Roger's Thesaurus, giving you lots of synonyms for the word learning and learn. You can take a look in the Ball Corpus. Remember, this is the Corpus of Student Writing from Universities. Um, fewer examples, because this is a smaller corpus. But once again, you can see the most frequent collocations occurring. Okay, well, let's try another search term. Let's type in the word research. And we're also going to look in the Ball Corpus, so we'll just stay here for a while. So. Family words, for synonyms, verb and noun, form of research, and you see this displayed also here in Flax. Um, a very important area is the related collocations area. So these words empirical, hypothesis, observation, um, plus definitions from Wikip Wikipedia as well as Wiktionary. This is what we call a super linked resource. Linking in resources and linking you out to resources. Hover over with your mouse and you'll find related topics from Wikipedia. So this gives you a broad understanding of the area 
that you're searching around. So not only the words that you've put into flax, but all the related words and related topics that go along with that word search. Let's take a look at the Wikipedia corpus now. Once again, organized according to part of speech as a verb, noun, adjective, and then we have related collocations, moving down to definitions. This brings us to the end of our first tutorial on the learning collocations collection within Flax. We've looked at different ways for searching for collocations across this database, including collocations within phrases, within context, in wider texts, and across the corpus as related collocations and related topics within resources such as Wikipedia. We've showed you how Flax links out to Wikipedia as well as linking Wikipedia within the interface and linking out to Wiktionary and linking in Roger's thesaurus. We've looked at the three different corpora within this collection, the BNC, the BOR and of course the Wikipedia corpus. In the next tutorial we will be looking at a unique function called the cherry picking function which allows you to search store and retrieve collocations that are of interest to you. Finally, we'll be looking at the different ways you can save and print the collocations that you have been storing in your cherry basket within the FLAX system. So tune in for learning collocations tutorial number two.